There you go. Okay. I think we got this. Uh, let me try to open it. Unhandled Sir Chip Negative 1 in first DMA. Emulation started. I think we got it. Okay, I need to switch the screen over here. Uh, not please stand by. There we go. Okay. Now, I may need to adjust this here a bit now. Should I adjust the screen itself? Or, yeah, I'll adjust the screen itself. Uh, monitor capture. We'll call it monitor capture 2. And we'll just have the game. Uh, Subregion. There we go. So is audio critical for me to hear? Because I actually can't hear the game's audio, but it should be streaming. Uh, as, fa as far as I recall, it isn't. Okay. I'll figure something out next stream. I don't feel like fussing around with audio. Yeah, stuff. I can hear it. It's a little scratchy, but yeah, I hear the game audio. Good. Alright, uh, fit the screen. There we go. Look at Mario go cross-eyed. Ha 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 ha. Okay. So, yeah, Mario Kart Expert, um, we are not doing Chapter 5 without Evil Pop-Tart, and he appears to be completely missing in action, so we, uh, we're gonna skip, uh, Paper Mario, and I think I'm gonna actually pester him, because I didn't pester him, because I kinda figured, hey, Tuesday stream night, but, say la vie, tonight we have Super Mario 74, I need a working controller. So, uh, I gotta figure that first. I am not quite ready for this. Okay. Uh, is there a set all? Yeah, set up. Here we go. Uh, up. Okay. Computer. Recognize my controller. That would be nice. Okay. Try that again. It's not taking that. No. No. I, I know why. That's why. <laughs> 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 actually, what should I actually use the analog stick? I know what I need to do. I need to start this setup again. So, uh, how do I start it again? Okay, setup. Yeah, the audio could be louder, I guess. I can set it up to be louder. I want to start this over. Oh, okay. Options, controller. Alright, let's try this again. So, up. Down, left, right. This is the analog stick. This is important. So up, down. Okay, that's already set up. C buttons. Up, down, left, right. B. I have no clue how. Oh, it's right on the screen. So that should be B. That should be A. I did that. Okay. That should be start. Z trigger. I'll set to that. L trigger. R trigger. That should do it. And then uh, my save states and load states are F5 and F7. Okay. Uh, game audio a little bit. Um, on that note, uh, do I need to adjust the stream delay? Is the game audio out of sync? I think with the title screen, we can't tell. Ah, good point. Um, I'm pressing, or I can't go backwards, can I? I, I can hit these buttons. I got that. I'm playing stereo, dude. Yeah, people are saying it's quiet, so I will bump it up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hear you play first, I think. Okay, well, let's let's get started then. Oh, I'm in the copy screen, not the play screen. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got started right away. No uh, Peach giving us any cake or anything like yeah. that. Uh, just right here in some... Oh, the walls are meshing out of place. Wow, holy cow. I feel like wall jumping up here because I can't... Oh, you can't go too high. I should probably explore than trying to play around with these walls, shouldn't I? Yeah, I probably should. There's a... Oh. <laughs> There's a sign over here. I should go check it out. Alright. Okay, I've had enough You're in, you're in sync on game. Okay. 
I'm not going to worry about it. Yay, thank you, Wayoshi. So, info toad number two. Since Lakitu is fired from some other useless dude trying to make all the camera work, but he sucks. Please cap them in my mind. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Mario camera tends to work better. Okay, that's basically what that's saying. So, um... Uh, Mario cam is, uh... Mario cam. There we go. Mario cam. As a heads up, whenever you get to the green switch level, uh... At least the README tells you that the uh, the Mario Cam is pretty much horrible in that course. Okay. <laughs> so that's that's the one case where you're gonna want to use the Lakitu Cam. Okay, duly noted. So we've got uh, an interesting course here. We're gonna learn King Koopa is up to some tricks. Oh, by the way, water, so I can just heal. It's nice. So I was told to go find all five info toads before you try playing. Super Mario 64. Where's my long jump? Uh, there's my long jump. I feel like I'm relearning everything. <laughs> no joke about that. Uh, so many buttons. There, Mario Cam. Found an info toad. What do you have to say? Over here. <laughs> Toad does not want to look at me. Oh, I, I skipped right to five. I have sequence broken Super Mario 74. I don't know how I did it. Okay, you are real. Go, go away. You, you, yeah. Okay. Next game. <laughs> Giving me the info tool who wants to practice his stand up comedy, and uh, he, his routine could use a lot of work. Okay, so we need the red switch cap before we can go into this course. I wonder what. Uh, this place too high for try a combination of a triple jump or a side stall whip or good or This is a family game. So I, I take it if I were to enter here. Oh, it does let me! This is the dice fort, and it's a wall jumping lesson. Something stops me from going further. I did not talk to Toad 3. Uh, welcome to the better world. Yes, get to the Mario cam. So I really actually want to see what stops me, according to that Toad. Welcome to World 1. Practice your wall jumps. So far, this has not been a lot of wall jump practice. That did not help very much. I, I can kind of see what is meant when I, I think it might have been you, JD you said this Romax not quite as polished as Star Road, though it's still fun in concept. So I'm seeing some textures that aren't as well aligned as they were, say, in Star Road, but so far things seem pretty interesting. Yeah, this is definitely the early days. <laughs> 64 hacking. I if believe I, the only uh, full game hack that came out before this was uh, something uh, Mario and the, or Luigi and the Missing Stars or something. Hmm. Never actually played that one. Okay. If I were to do an ancient Super Mario 64 ROM hack, this would be one. <laughs> I am not gonna keep trying to fudge up wall jumps quite like that. Zelda Gamer, do you have the microphone muted or did I mess up somewhere? The audio's fine. Yeah, um, make sure your headset is plugged in. <laughs> make, make sure it is not muted. Make sure it's not muted in I mean, there is some static if it's too loud, but otherwise it's fine. Okay. Uh, what is. There, there's a block that's there's, just in here. There's a block, it's, it's in here. Okay. Is this mushroom good or is this mushroom evil? That mushroom is good. Okay. So, so far we've gone across the entire ground area. There's this little thing over here that we can enter if I can get into it. Uh, I saw an entrance over here, I think. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, just a switch. Let's go. Oh, is this what it was talking about with the switch I needed to hit? Or is this just a block switch that unleashed some, uh, 
Blue, blue coins. Where are my blue coins? No blue coins. No blue coins. That's not a blue coin switch. Oh, it's a blue. Okay. Now I know. Now I know. Thank, thank you. Just want to put it inside the building. Must have been outside, like to the left. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, there it is. Ah. That's probably some stuff. You, you will get tough challenges involving <laughs> those time blocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those. Yeah. So about these, I should probably not destroy them. Yeah, they. I think they reappear of you. You set. Made it. Yeah. Alright, so now I can climb up a little bit further. <laughs> Fall damage is a thing. I'm curious if there was actually a discussion back when Super Mario 64 was made on whether or not they should have fall damage. And we're like, well, the game's supposed to be a bit more realistic. Sure, yes. Nope, 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 nope. I am. Ah. This is a healthy. It's never more than half your health, because how on earth could you die by, like, falling from a high height? Like, all the way dead. Okay, I see kind of what I need to do. But I need to definitely have the camera lined up better for this. And it wants to move, I see. Is there a... there's a fixed camera option. Set camera angle with R, I think it is. Fixed. Problem is, it's mutually exclusive uh, with the Mario cam. Oh, th you're right. Darn. Stupid lack of two cam. You, you suck. I, I could lock it in place, but this is not a good angle. <laughs> Oh no, okay. Oh well. Maybe I can get a decent angle from here and please don't move. Okay. There we go. Oh, why we can't you switch? Alright. So. Yeah, there we go. I need a red switch to get that block, but I am almost there. I am there. Is this my first? Yes! Ha! First power star. One! We've gotten 150 to go. That is a lot of stars to get, everyone. Conquered pillars. I have conquered pillars. You found one! <laughs> At least the game has a sense of humor. One star! O-N-E-S-T-A-R. You've achieved pretty much nothing at all. <laughs> Before we head back into that course, I actually want to explore a little bit more because I see there's just a pipe sitting over here. Come on, let me read the sign. Look out. Lots of dangers ahead. First, tox air. Don't breathe in. Second, holes. Don't fall in them. And last and most important, suck your camera. <laughs> I'm not certain. Oh, yes, I think I know what this is. Yeah, this is the green switch one. Oh boy. Uh... I actually colored all the cap switch areas to match the switches. I, okay, I do not like this camera. Why is the camera like this? You really should go to Mario camera when you can. I, I am in Mario camera, and it's just... Yeah, don't go to Mario camera. In this no, I'm not mocked. Never mind. Never mind. This course specifically. Wow. <laughs> I just took I, I took the signs word for, for it. Uh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I am slowly dying, and I am almost certainly going to die. Yeah, you have to collect the coins. Oops. Or find- uh, there are a couple stars here, too. <laughs> I probably shouldn't try that course right now. Not, not, not yet. Not yet. I still need to get my bearings back. Wall jumping- oh, I'm, I'm mad you just long jumped to your death anyways. <laughs> well, I was trying to get the coin. <laughs> I like how you still did the painting exit animation there. Instead of the going out of the pipe. Yeah, I guess, could you ever die going out of a pipe in the original game? Maybe there was no other death animation. Yeah, unlike the original uh, Super Mario 64, this game really does get you, like, some options. 
right off the bat, I think you can go to at least three different courses, not counting the, the cap switch. Duly noted. I actually... I am just gonna quick set up this thing, because I keep pressing one button for Z, and it's not set up right. So what I want Z is that, and I guess I'll change our trigger to that. That should help. Okay, why is my Z trigger not... Z trigger that. Apparently that doesn't work. Never mind then. My controller is dumb. We'll make it that then. And then we'll make the R trigger that. Or wait, is, is Z trigger actually used for ducking? No, it's not. Why did I... Th okay, I am confused about the N64. Oh, this is the L... Yes, I am very confused. The N64 controller was very, very, very confusing. This is the lesson of the day, kids. <laughs> there. There, now I made it this button. I, I kept Trying pressing this bu shoulder button, so... Anyway, go on. Trying to think of a 64 game that used the L button for anything. I guess you could taunt with it and smash 64? There was that, and... And... I really don't remember my N64 games at all. Wasn't in Paper Mario, wasn't in this game. Uh, Twitch chat, N64 games that actually used the L button. I'm just trying to think what... You always, well, I always use my left hand for the Z button, because that's how usually played games I played at least so is that where I have to do my wall jumps I think it is because this course name was like all about the wall jumps so let's uh, go do the wall jumps this the sign is even like you need a wall jump a lot there's even coins here in case we mess up ah not super Mario Galaxy wall jumping it, it is uh, quite a bit more difficult actually been, I, I played Super Mario 74, so I should be more used to this than Mario Galaxy, but still, it's so, like, nice, and you cling to walls in Mario Galaxy, like, yes. Anyway, I've made it to here, and there is a red coin down here, but, uh, no stars and no more places to fall jump, although I see this block that's just sitting in the wall. I am gonna fall down onto the block, and, uh, now, presumably, I'm stuck. Oh boy, yeah. Anyway, um. Yeah, no, block will no move. Block will no move. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do our wall jumps again. Oh yeah, L, L, L not only taunts in Smash Brothers, it taunts in the Mario parties. Thank you, Mario Kart expert. We're basically just taunting, not a major control. Not something that you'd actually have to actively so, press. Because you really can never do left and right on the N64. I, I suppose with Goldeneye, I think there were a lot of controller setups that in some way, shape, or form used mm. the L button. Uh, I, I like never use those. I, I want to say whatever is the default control setup in Goldeneye is what I've always used playing Goldeneye back in the day. And I haven't played Goldeneye in like forever. But they like had like a hundred different ways to control that game if you look at the controller settings. There are even some settings where you use two different uh, uh, two different controllers at once, plugged into player one and player two. This is the observation tower. I take it that's what this thing is. I'm As if a three-prong controller wasn't enough, why not six? <laughs> I actually probably should read this. I'm supposed to be a pink bomb, but chemic tra You got turned into a sign! Holy cow! So if you have some problems with some of the missions, search for the Switch Palaces. They may help you. I think that's the game subtly telling me, uh, do get a flight cap. Well, before we go get a flight cap, I'm gonna go swimming and explore the course a little bit more here. I want just to abandon a course right away.
You may have told me about abandoning your course, but I want to. Okay, there's not much to this pool of water. Ocarina of Time, I don't think use that L button. I, I played Ocarina of Time a whole bunch as a kid. Majora's Mask a whole bunch as a kid. It, uh, it like, did nothing. I would think I would remember what it did. So anyway, let's just, at the very least, let's get out of this pool, thank you. There we go. Did L let you speak to Navi? Or Tattle? I want to say that was C up, actually, when they would go, Hey, listen! <laughs> they, they took over your uh, your look button. Y instead of being able to look, it was, Hey! And, and now you press C up, and then they tell you really obvious things. Also, there is a block here. Oh, that is a pretty tough block to get to. Holy cow. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but I'm now trying to think of the other N64 games. Thing is, it's been a really long time since I've played N64 games. Like, there, there's Bomberman, Mischief Makers, I know those games I definitely played on the N64 and I at least have some memories of them. Uh, ooh, Mystic, or Mischief Makers was a treasure game, that was a really good game. Let me think here. What other like N64 games do I actually memory of? Um, I mean, other than the obvious, like Banjo Kazooie's one. I don't think Banjo Kazooie used L though. I don't remember, and I played that game quite a bit. Oh. <laughs> okay. Apparently, that block actually has a uh, a shield or a ledge above it. So col collecting it by butt stomping it might not actually work, and I should probably give up on that. I could kick it on the way down. Oh, thank you, JD Aster. He will try that. Ah, I'm assuming go. there's a star in that. <laughs> I don't imagine they'd put a one-up that far out of the way. I don't imagine that, that they would. Okay. But you never know. Oh, I suppose I should be able to land on this ledge, actually. There we go. Okay. Now the best, safest way to get this is to do this. Oh, way too early. No. Way too early. Thankfully, I'm getting my wall kicks will work back. There we go. All right. Oh, no. Oh, L turns the map on and off in Ocarina of Time. How uh, obscure, because I've left it on. <laughs> <laughs> but what if you wanted the true, like, widescreen experience, or whatever you'd want to call it, and the map was in the way? <sighs> Did anyone else have the luxury of, oh, look, we have a TV that supports S video, and it's even Whoa. better. Ooh. One one thing I was thinking, if the if the NX is gonna be a uh, handheld and blah 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 combined, and it's gonna be three DS uh, compatible, they could do three D TVs if they want to, and actually do three D on TV. Yeah, that's a good point. Three D TVs are much more affordable now than even three years ago. That is true. Oh. Uh, you ask most people, 3D TV, I don't want one of those. Yeah. I like how you're... It would be, it would be like an extra feature for 3DS. Um, compatibility, if you have it. I was thinking maybe that could have happened. If it... DNX is that thing, but jig. What's going on, JD Easter? I love how you looked around for coins when there was a pool of water right over there. Oh. <laughs> I, I will put that on me still trying to get my bearings. I will I will save state this time to save us all a whole bunch of grief because uh yeah. I, I think I've proven I can get up there, it's a matter of actually getting the block. And I think I'll actually just collect a couple of these coins up here too. Oh yeah, E three this year will be other stuff than the NX, as we already know. Yeah, I just don't know exactly what. 
and other stuff than Zelda, if that uh, announcement was to be believed. I think we already discussed it, but, you know, just having some hopes on what there's a possibility of. You know, possibility of Paper Mario HD. Oh gosh, I would love that. Alright. Save state. There. Find out this time next week. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. With any luck, we won't have uh, Twitch and YouTube blocked at work. That can help. Now, I don't have Twitch or YouTube locked at work as well, so that's, I guess, benefit of working in IT. <laughs> there we go. Okay. A, a little bit of a really specific positioning here to get onto that. And by the way, I just noticed. I need to be careful. There's a mouse cursor that was visible. There we go. Three stars. That's not much, but well, it is interesting. Nothing interesting about it. Wow, th this game is really pessimistic about me and my meager supply of stars. Also, it'd be nice if the level worked. Holy cow. <laughs> so yeah, that was actually our last star. So about this observation tower, I want to learn more about it. Huh, <laughs> you missed the work. Yeah, I know there's at least one star you can't get in this course. I forget if there was a second as well. We'll, we'll find out. Alright, back up to the tower. So, there's another one that was just called Observation Tower, because I'm assuming that's that over there, or... Oh, I don't think it's that. Um, it, I think the things on top of the Observation Tower are outside of our draw distance, but uh, there is no possible way that I'm long jumping over there. That is not happening. <laughs> What's in this block? Probably was driving a lot of people like insane, like, oh my gosh, Miles Luigi, get the blocks, get the block. I, I want to know what's in these blocks. Well, it's a whole bunch of coins for when we get the uh, 100 coin star. Actually, maybe I should go for the red coins and the 100 coin star, since I'm already at 40. Not a bad idea. Uh, was there one on this end? I think there was. Yeah, down there, if I recall correctly. There's also that ledge there. Geronimo! Oh gosh, there's there's a floating floating platform. It's just floating there. So it's like, hi, I'm a platform. I'm float floating. <laughs> just imagine if you uh, in your everyday work, it's just like, oh hey, yeah, I'm a floating platform. I, I float in midair. I'm a platform. Platform on me. These blocks still confuse me. They're just in the ground. I'm scared I'm like going to phase into the ground trying to push them. Are they pushable? They're, they're the kind of blocks that are. But hmm. I can't push them anywhere. Yeah, this is the last star, or like the red and the hundred coins of the last one, so you'll be able to get for now. Uh, let's do them then. Ah, I missed you. So apparently the L button actually has a use in Pokemon Puzzle. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, and Tetris Sphere 2? Okay, um, there were N64 no games sphere. that acknowledged its existence. I was just more speaking from experience in Paper Mario, and, uh... Maybe just Paper Mario. I know the menus in that game, you scroll with the Z and R buttons. It's like, you could just as easily scroll with L and R. You have two buttons on opposite sides of the Yeah, but most people are holding the their left hand on the Z. That's the thing, because the right hand's on the A, B, whatever. So that's... kind of mostly one. Yes. Yeah, I guess most people probably hold the middle and the right, uh, like, parts of the controller for games that don't require the D-pad. I always held the left and the right regardless, so... Maybe that's just why I... Seems like an odd choice to me. Nope, not fast enough. <laughs> Well, that's not gonna help when I just launch jump right into the pillar in the middle of the hallway. This almost feels like a house that was made in Minecraft, just because it's kind of a flat thing. I am not making it at all this time. Gosh, I'm trying to think, uh, when this ROM hack came out, I'm trying to think of what the tools that people would have used to make the levels would have been. What I presume with this... Was it Toad's Duel? Yeah, that was around a long time ago. I I presume this was at least at the point where you were able to import just like object files from other editors. Okay, so like you could work on 3D models and say Blender and then bring them into Super Mario 64. Oh my gosh, Miles Luigi, get the last blue coin. It's not that difficult. Better there. brush up on your blue coin collecting now. There. We're pretty close to getting to a hundred. That was like a triple jump, but a uh, horse somersault. There we go. Put the red coin down there. That's a good way to do it too, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're 90 there. And we'll take out a couple of Goombas. We should pretty much be there. Oh, Shy Guy, you, you usually spit out a whole bunch of coins, don't you? Yes, I have to land back on the ground, though, to pick them up. I hope I didn't have to use you to fly somewhere. I, I want to say Star Road did that, and knowing that this is a harder romp hack, I probably didn't have to do that. Definitely required at some point. Probably not here. This jump again, old nemesis. Aha, triple jump, there we go. Aha, 97, three more to go. I'm gonna have to do this again when I get the red cap, because this is where the red cap is. Yeah, there we go, and this one we wanna long jump. There we go, and this had a star in it, so there's no coins up here. I have three more coins to get from somewhere. Also a last red coin, so it's probably wherever that last red coin is will uh, almost get me there. Didn't I kill you? Yes, I killed you. Oh, the last red coin. There we go. I, I got it. I killed a Goomba. And there's the last red coin. It's in the water. I didn't notice this underground tunnel. Uh, camera. No, no joke. <laughs> the camera here is not as refined as Star Fro's. Holy cow. Okay, lack two camera. That's better. There we go. Yeah, you typically want to uh, go into like Mario Cam without zooming out for like the more confined areas, like under that bridge. Now I have to somehow get this star, which shouldn't be difficult, but the camera. I hope it didn't spawn in here. In oh gosh. <laughs> nope, I got it. I got it. I clipped the hitbox, and what is definitely a really weird collision thing. Um, yes. I've definitely it's lost fortunate. stars to the pyramid it's, it's before. It's there, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, so do we want to say Yes, we do. And the really, really, really awkward... I, I kind of just leave that up there for a moment. Just a <laughs> collision. 
The best That's was always the original game had to worry about the way I designed it. I guess. Except in the pyramid, you could totally lose the hundred they coins by that. No, my favorite was always uh, grabbing the the uh, one of the red coins on the poles in uh, in Dire Dye Docks and then collecting the hundred co coin star while on a pole. You just sort of teleport down to the bottom of the stage and then shoot back up to the top of the water after the animation. And then you'd have to climb all the way back up to get the red coin star. There's a whole bunch of coin doors near us. A hundred stars? Oh, you only need thirty. Let's just say hundred stars. Practically almost beat the game. Also, there's gonna be a bomb somewhere, and we'll be able to shoot ourselves out of a cannon, and that'll be a fun time. Where does this pipe go? Oh, this is our second course. I'm up, well, let's let's do it to the top of the tower. There we go. Welcome to a new world. Once again, switch to Mario Cam. Here we go. So this new world feels like a. Uh, 32, what? 30, 32? Okay. Good, 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 good. Yeah. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of Goombas there, and this slope seems really difficult to climb. Is this what the level is? Slopes that are really difficult to climb? Zip, zip, not quite. Maybe I should just yeah. keep going. I, I wonder how you're supposed to do that, because I always just crawled up them. And I did that in a lot of other places in the game where it probably wasn't necessary. Uh, if you long jump into them, you get a whole bunch of momentum, and then we can actually make it up here. And where we have some enemies, and once again, this just is holy cow, checkerboard, Alice Wonderland craziness. Let's try to make this wall jump here. Maybe lack two cams now. Well, lack two cams in the wall. Never mind. <laughs> Whoa, dude! I I can't really see when Mario collides with the wall at that angle, and it's kind of hard to press A at the right time. But okay, try this again. Here we go. Nope. Nope. Gosh, it, okay. I made it. I made it. <laughs> and I get a star for my efforts, yes. I'll take it. At least you collect plenty of coins on the way up. Gives you multiple chances. Yeah, I guess we always exit the same area, by the way. So to the top of the tower. That's interesting. So we actually have to run back to this pipe to re enter that course. Interesting, interesting. Eight dangerous red coin. The game wants me to already do the red coin mission. Sure. It's not unprecedented. <laughs> Which, Typically more common fourth or fifth mission. Were there any uh were there any courses in the original game that got that made you do the red coins first? I'm not thinking there were. I don't think so. AC Maze Cave did have its second. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm pretty kind of, there is actually a Mario 64 course that made it first. It's just normally it appears later because this is the explore the whole course mission, especially for me since I want to get 100 coins at the same time. It's, uh, you know, time efficiency. You can do both at the same time. Also, this ledge looks really spooky to cross, so I will, uh, I will cross it carefully. There we go. Although it was never last, that was always reserved for stuff like blast away the wall and ro watch for rolling rocks. It's just like, how on earth are you supposed to figure that out the first time? Nintendo power. <laughs> Get the power. Remember, video games back in those days were allowed to be kind of cryptic sometimes so that people would talk about the games. It was like, hey dude, do, do you know about this secret of Mario 64? If you shoot the cannon at the wall, you can totally get a power star. I'm pretty terrible with these uh, plywood boxes right now. I I'm very 
doing bad. How about that? I, I couldn't finish that sentence. I couldn't think of how I wanted to finish that sentence. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, here's another one of our stars, actually, but I'm going for red coins, not stars. Just note to self, we can do this again. Alright, so I'll just take that fall, and I will very carefully cross this ledge. There we go. And there we go, and let's uh, get up this hill. <laughs> so there's a Chukya here, and Chukya immediately means danger. Chukya, danger. We might as well, y y the dictionary definition of danger, just put the picture of Chukya next to it. <laughs> I like these hills, how you can just barely make the top of them. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, Mario Kart Expert points out that stop time for red coins. Was that the last star in TikTok Clock? That's true, been. that was the last. Okay. But then again, that was also the stop time one. I guess I guess Toad give, did give you a hint to watch the, the minute hand, but that one was pretty cryptic. If you weren't the type to talk to Toads. Okay, let's uh... Hope this line of coins doesn't take me to my demise. Okay, it, it kind of did. I need to actually grab the coins and not get hit by Shy Guy. There we go. There we go. Much better. Yeah, there's a lot of this course we haven't seen yet, and I'm trying to get my coins. I can see where this can really chip you up because, oh gosh, now I have to flop on this shy guy. And I hope I didn't have to go on top of Thwomp. I should be able to side jump on him, but still, I'm seeing stuff on top of Thwomp here, so... Let's, uh, no! <laughs> down the slide I go! Up, down, off Thwomp I go! Okay, this is a... yes. Nope. Oh, that is one of our red coins, so it's a good thing I went on top of Thwomp. There we go. Now there's a red coin suspended in midair, but I'm going to save that one for later. We're going to go over by what looks like a big bowl or a big hand or whatever you want to call it. Hey, look. Circle. I don't really, you don't know, really see that pattern of coins when you're inside of a... There's a red coin up there. Inside of water. Okay. Also, I see how this is evil. Red coin floating in the middle of a platform. Very precision jump needs to be made here. And I did it. <laughs> I hyped that up just a little too much, didn't I? Let's keep going up. Never underestimate those small platforms. I've probably died at least once, probably several times, off of those little last few tiny platforms. Uh, towards the elevator door thing and leave Lava Land. <laughs> It'll happen, and yeah, I just kind of took fall damage here. So yeah, actually, going to the hand, the, here's another one of our stars. Mario, no! <laughs> Devhawk, it's your birthday in five minutes. Uh, happy birthday, dude. If you've got a birthday wish, um... Blow up the candles and hope it comes true. <laughs> if you're looking for eggs, you're at the wrong stream. Ah, I gotta watch out, make sure this watch my swamp. Okay, so for the hunter coins, here's a blue coin switch. Definitely going to need this thing, so where do these coins appear? Ah, okay. You have to take a dangerous path here. Ah, Dangerous path. Bye bye, Mario. <laughs> Needing to do a sharp 90 degree turn. Ah. 
Okay, let's try that again. Needing to do a sharp 90 degree turn while theoretically that shouldn't be bad in Mario 64 because Mario can turn on a dime. Um, With the camera though. <laughs> camera. Whoops. I think this is a really a, a really big testament to how good the camera was for how they set up Mario 64 uh, and Star Road because now we're like really 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 feeling the effects of not having a good camera. Make you think twice about like, insulting the originals. Is that Star Road sequel hack still being developed? Uh, I. Don't I, I think so. I know the DS port of it is uh, a good ways underway, like 11 of the main courses and uh, 10 of the side courses are done. So you can play through the game as Luigi and just float everywhere. <sighs> they changed his backflip so it's just a super high jump. Oh, well, never mind about that then. No helicopter uh, component. I want to say he also patched in a way to sort of jerry-rig the touchscreen controls to make a, um, uh, essentially an analog stick control for that game. Hmm. Not bad. I may stick with the, uh, original controls just because I never minded them before. There you go. I just don't say Mario 64 DS actually used the, uh, D-pad, like, it, it didn't just take D-pad controls, it actually kind of adapted the D-pad and made it work, so I'd have to imagine Star Road DS, since it's all Super Mario 64 DS, same deal. I played Star Road with uh, the keyboard, so <laughs> I'm used to analog controls. And we got the star in the middle of the uh, I just remembered the sequel was trying to promise 240 stars, and I'm like, oh boy, that's okay. really massive. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's gonna really come to fruition or not. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that is huge and massive. Um, my, my controller right now, my Logitech, I'm normally using this D-pad, but I do have two analog sticks. And I can switch between using the D-pad and analog stick if need be. I've actually already done it a couple of times so far. Because having that precise control can be useful. So now let's go get that. I think I'm one red coin, and the one red coin is the evil red coin floating in midair. Look, look at how evil this coin is. Well, let's What's just say. <laughs> oh, I just long jumped. Let's see if I land safely or if I die. I grab the ledge. Okay, that wasn't too evil. As you were saying. <laughs> I was gonna say I was impressed that you managed to finish that wall kick after the star animation played earlier, but then you went and jumped right down. <laughs> you can still be impressed and then also be amazed at his failure. Good job. You found eight stars. Oh boy, you are really slow. Do you know two more stars and you can open the first star door? Well, this game is now insulting me. I do not approve of this. Okay. Alright, anyway. Uh, Yankee Gal, have I ever run into the security guard in the Baltimore Mall? No! There's your answer. Alright, so we have a whole bunch of stars that we now know the location of. So let's uh, go get them. I'm gonna go get this one first. It'll let me uh, turn on my extra precise control stick. Or if the cold camera just shifts on me and kills me, holy cow, I should probably go out of lack of 2 p.m. I don't suppose there's a Mario Cam default setting, is there? I'm trying to remember, did, uh... Like, I know 64 Star Road's camera was just better, but, like, did it have different settings from the original? Or did they just make a better lack of you cam? I'm trying to remember. I don't quite remember. I just remember not having to fight with it as much. Like right now. Like, Mario, quit hugging the wall. I want you to make another backflip. No. Nothing like trying to wall kick when the camera is always trying to go behind you. Guess we're 
waiting past this. Wow, I'm just gonna kind of let this camera float around. Actually, is Lack 2 camera gonna be better for this? Maybe it was made better. Uh, this this camera is weaving a little bit in Lack 2 cam, but maybe it's not as bad. Well, I thought I had that. It doesn't feel as bad though, so I'm gonna keep with it. I'm feeling lucky. Well, I can't make that with a regular jump. I I need a double jump. Or a regular jump to make it. Hey! I made it! I made it! It only took... What was that? Six, seven tries? If you would have rolled a dice and been like, how many tries will this take Miles Luigi? One, two, three, four, five, six. Rolled the dice. You would have won regardless of the number you got. Should have spun to win. <laughs> Thank you, Gail. You got four amiibos. What what amiibos did you get? How lucky were you? That's a good question. I am still rocking just a Yoshi, a Luigi, and a Pikachu amiibo. All of them the Smash Brothers series. Yeah, I went out to uh I went out to Nintendo World for the Wave 4 launch, and uh, I got there a little late for Ness, but like, they must have had a couple hundred or something absurd. There were hundreds of people in front of me, and they only ran out like half an hour's worth of line ahead of me. Oh wow, holy cow. No Ness for you. I did end up importing one. It's like, if I can't get one there, <laughs> I'm not going to attempt, like, oh. I don't know. Pay, pay someone on Amazon for an $80 amiibo? No, not happening. Yeah, I did get a Pac-Man out of it, though. Got a second, two, actually. One for my brother. I saw a post. I want to say it was a Facebook post comparing collecting amiibo to being, like, collecting Pokemon. How a lot of co are common, some are rare, and how, like, Sculpers are, like, Team Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is actually, this kind of makes a little bit of sense. Amiibos are like real-life Pokemon. You even battle them with each other in Smash Brothers. But they don't waste their time looking for Pikachu. I heard in the Amiibo data there is room for every Pokemon. Yeah, the way the, uh, the numbering... Where they have the, the indexes or whatever they kind of coded. They just put it in room. Yeah, they have the Probably put in an even more room for future generations Pokemon. I mean, they have so. as many as there are hexadecimal numbers between, yeah. whatever, 1900 and the next, uh, group, so, yeah, probably. Not, uh, everyone won't come out, but I bet some will, more. Wouldn't be surprised if they did, like, a card thing, although Pokemon Amiibos haven't really been supported by, like, anything outside of Smash just, just yet. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a good question. Will my Pikachu amiibo in Yoshi's Woolly World will it make uh, Yoshi look as like Pikachu? It should. As of yet, uh, no. None of the uh, Pokemon's work for that. Aww. Oh well. You can make Yoshi. I heard that look using like a Yoshi amiibo in the in Yoshi's Woolly World will make Yoshi look like actual Yoshi and not Yarn Yoshi. That I thought it was like true. a. I thought it was like a plastic thing. I, I, I saw an image of it and I was like, okay, whatever. It's kind of silly as this supports all the meeples anyways, but I guess that's the new business model. I think that's like one of the better uses of them I've seen thus far, outside of Smash maybe. Hot dog, have I finished Yoshi's New Island? I made it to 5 1, and I haven't played since. I kind of want to play Yoshi's New Island and finish it, but then I remember what game it is, and then I get depressed. You better finish it before Willy World comes out. <laughs> you should find out when that's coming out next Tuesday, I hope. Yeah. Should be fucking earlier than June 26, but it's not here. Yeah, but what. Don't we have like a full, rough release time for it? Or am I thinking Mario? I, I, they have only said fall, and it's gonna be in three weeks in um, Europe. Yeah, yeah, the UK's got all the 
Whatever. I need to avoid spoilers. Oh, time to avoid game explain, you're saying. Well, I don't know well, if they're gonna really spoil uh, too much of. Yeah, I, feel, I already know it's like gonna be. I feel like six. they would have put stuff up there already. Although I gotta avoid spoilers. There's gonna be no story with spoilers, so it's not gonna be anything surprising. Yeah. It's just levels I'm not gonna watch. Except maybe the first one, because I think I've probably already seen it. Yeah, I gotta avoid Rhythm Heaven spoilers. <laughs> Since that game's coming out in like two days in Japan, and we don't- we're, we're not supposed to know it exists here in America. Well, I fell off, If, so. my, if, my, if DLC can be released worldwide, I, I don't know why. We can't move on to games, gain of the same release everywhere. It, it's time. Uh, no plans to go to E3. I have never been to an E3 Yankee gal. Uh, Mr. Hotdog, yes, music is really, really on. I actually looked it up. Uh, the composer who worked on Yoshi's New Island, completely newbie composer, has no other works under his name, so... Complete Greenhorn, and unfortunately it shows! Master of Jumping, number six. I am not. I'm trying to think of where else there's a star in this course. Huh. Well, if worse comes to worse, uh, YouTube will work. <laughs> YouTube will work. I have like a four-year-old walkthrough. <laughs> I am now just imagining that actually being a title of a course. YouTube will work. <laughs> <laughs> like every sixth star in the original game. Uh, and uh, I can't pronounce your name, 92. It's Super Mario 74. It's a ROM pack, a relatively early one of Super Mario 64. It's kind of tough. It's kind of rough around the edges, but a lot of people say it's pretty good. And I gotta say, other than camera, I am actually... Enjoying this. If darn it, I fell. All the same, I don't think this is the type of uh, hack you were intended to play without save states. Star Road, it's is manageable. Oh yeah. I was able to do that music course and get the eight red coins after I want to say that took me like eight tries. Yeah, and I want to say, uh, in the DS version he's working on, he's toned that course down just a little bit. It must have been an infamous course, then. <laughs> I imagine. Like, nothing else had, like, bottomless death pits everywhere. Up to that point. Hmm. Hmm. I guess the closest thing was the, the haunted course, and even that was, like, relatively straightforward. Oh, it was. Okay, well this is a pretty tall area in the course, so this is, it gives me a good opportunity to look around, provided Shy Guy quits, like, buzzing around my head. Holy cow, you are I annoying. hope Mario Maker lets us make ROM hacks. There is gonna be world progression. I think we're gonna be able to make 32 levels together into worlds. That's a good question. I, I, I've, I've seen the world screen, but it's gonna be like Super Mario Bros., not like Mario Worlds. So you can group 32 levels probably or so together, but no world map or anything. Yeah, I'm wondering if we'll show anything new from that. Uh, at it's going to be playable at Best Buy, so yes, it's going to be a main focus actually. I don't think this will help. This is probably slippery. Oh no, it's not slippery. Holy cow. It Holy actually cow. makes you think there might still not be any big Mario game if they're going to focus on Mario Maker. Yeah. Which is fine, but I thought there might be something after nothing last year. I am the best! Yours! Oh, is that at the very top here? <laughs> You'll see when the stream catches up. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. I was gonna say, it's probably around the back someplace. Okay. Well, pretty much. I don't know, maybe you could get a shy guy right around the I don't know how it's mastered. Well, I guess you've got to jump to get up there, but then you have to fall. Master I, of jumping. 
That would have been a lot easier to use the shy guy, yes, because I, I, I did jump off the star block and I had to load state a couple of times. So there's three courses that I can enter. Where's the third? That is the question. Ah, it must be you. You blue painting. Yes, the azure abyss. Uh, looks like we've got a water course, everyone. Alright. Not sure what the abyss part comes out. She comes in. Welcome to a new world. We're gonna get that message at the start of every single level, aren't we? Welcome to a new world yeah. on camera. So yeah, it's this is I wanna make sure that no matter which course you play first, you know how bad the camera is. <laughs> Cameras and caves don't like each other. I guess it's because they start with the same two letters. Well, in the worst case, when the camera is really stupid, you can change its position manually in the I something perspective. Also, this shy guy is about to totally destroy Mario right now. Or he's gonna fly through and then yeah. Anyway, if I do this, yeah, the camera in Mario 64 is very. Very, very adamant um, about not putting the camera into walls whenever possible, and it uh, it shows. It definitely shows. So it looks like this will be a spot for a red coin and a lookout platform. A really nice one if I can get a better view where I'm not looking at the wall. Ooh, there's something I can jump on over there. I can get a better view there if I can get the camera to cooperate with me, and if I can make that jump. <laughs> no jump. <laughs> Oh, Mario, 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 Mario. So what did I do to get up here in the first place? Did I just, yeah, I just wall kicked. And then I'm up here. So gotta use that uh, C-stick. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Try to go to the right, and yeah, the camera's like, I will not go to the right. Alright, can I do this? No, I cannot. That's when you do the whole face into the cave, zoom out twice, zoom in twice, and zoom out twice. I thought I had it. I must have. I must have collected a red coin there. Holy cow! Okay, shy guy, no mauling, Mario. I'm trying to make a really difficult jump. All right. So face, kind of into cave. I can see what I mean. You go to the look perspective and hey, I made it! I made it! I made it! That should not have been a difficult jump. Holy cow. Okay, this kind of looks like a difficult jump, but I think I can kind of do it. I don't think I've ever had a, a Mario 64 jump that made me weave like that, but this will get us a star actually, so I'll boldly take it. We didn't even have to get wet for this one, although I'm getting plenty wet here. Holy cow. Also, this uh, Azure Abyss looks like it goes down pretty deep. We'll have to explore that after we get this star. Wow, holy cow. Can I just jump over this, not try to do this whole rigmarole whirl around? Because this rigmarole whirl around is. Di oh, okay, no, I can't. It's enclosed. It's an enclosed system. If you start from further back, it might be a little easier. There, I, I need the momentum kind of going in so I can actually make it to the next platform. Okay, so I'll line Mario like this, and then do that. That I think that that's the money shot. I just have to actually make it. Just walk the edge, just barely tilt out, and then tilt back in. <laughs> this could take a couple of tries. This is another one of those shy guy makes it a lot easier moments. <laughs> it really, really is. Ah! I didn't mean to hit the wall. Holy cow. Okay. I'm going to take it that this is my money shot. No, it's not. Let's take it at the right angle, I guess. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the wall is not your toy to be okay. 
Okay. Uh. Oh my gosh. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I do believe um, Super Mario 74 DS with a properly functioning Luigi would be very beneficial here. <laughs> or heck, even just Yoshi with a flutter jump, that would help too. Poor Wario would just punch the wall away. <laughs> punch the wall away. You should have brought some friends, Mario. Oh gosh, I think I... I kind of had the idea there. Wall picks will not work. It's like I need more backward momentum once I jump out. I'm gonna try to double jump here. More height, more potential to go backwards. Dude, help. Uh, I'm seeing the walls kind of at like what I can best describe as like an 87 degree angle. Yeah! Holy cow, why didn't I double jump in the first place? That's way easier. Holy cow. Second try with a double jump. Try moon jumping. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when he needs moon jump, you can just double jump. Off the top of my head, I don't know what the uh, Mario 64 Moon Jump code is. So if I had to guess, one probably does exist. Okay, that was actually the last star. Holy cow. I'm pretty confident the first star wanted us to go right into this abyss and just swim straight down. Just swim straight down. So I will, I will do that. Oh, I need to actually press the swim button. Yeah, this goes pretty deep, doesn't it? Isn't that kind of spooky? That's a clam down there. Where's some coins? The draw distance here is going to be a factor. Okay, here we go. So which cave do we want to enter? Let's enter this cave. And inside cave number one is... Coins? And another cave? Okay. We're just going to keep going from cave to cave to cave, aren't we? And there's a... Okay, this is where a red coin is. Can we go up? No, we can't. Hey. Must have gotten... F Continue. I must have got sorry. I must have gotten uh, fed up with that jump myself when doing the walkthrough, <laughs> rather than go into that uh, last uh, j place before that star. I just long jump from the other platform. Wow. Well, that was not the abyss. That was some cave exploration. I was rewarded for my exploring of the cave. Uh, Vixie Pixel. Um. Mario 74 does not appear on Twitch TV's game list, so I'd naturally pick the closest game. Like, if I were to stream a Mario World ROM hack, I would say I'm playing Super Mario World. You know, it, it just makes sense, you know? Uh, alright, but I'm seeing Ghost. this little caveat over here. Oh! Ghost. So this is where I'm going to get my blue switch and I might as well figure out what this is all about. Oh, platforms. <laughs> Don't miss the jump when I do this, actually. Okay. Yeah, no problem, Vixie Pixel. Twitch TV may know about, like, a lot of games, but it doesn't know about them all. It doesn't know about my super secret hidden trap card game. Also, we are going to need the battle cap at some point. Well, let's go deep diving again. This time I'm actually going to go to the bottom of the sea. Bottom of the sea. Down there. So you. Oh, that was not a smart move. The shell. Give me the shell. There we go. Looks 
some more coins. I need some air. I'm gonna do some exploring with the shell. There we go. So, oh, the shell's gone. That's right. Shells last like ten seconds underwater. That's right. Oh, we're going even deeper. Holy cow! And even deeper into an abandoned ship area. Holy cow! Do you have a coin? You don't want to open. Oh, you do have a coin. Okay, duly noted. Well, this is probably the first area I'm going to go for when I start going for coins, just to get this area taken care of right away. So I just keep swimming down and down, and is this going to be our abyss star, or is this going to be a different star? The deepest dive. That was a deep dive. I really agree with that. Here we go. Pillars of Precision. Oh, gosh. Um, Pillars of Precision. Uh, well, we had those uh, green, or not green, blue pillars from earlier. Uh, what else could that be referring to? Hmm. Let me go back to these green, or well, not green. Why do I keep thinking green? Uh, these are pillars that had the blue coins. But do we cross them and cross them enough we get a star? That's a possibility. I will press the switch. Because pressing the switch will make me get it really anxious. I missed. So it kind of helps um, for me to actually have uh, the Project 64 selected before trying to save state and load state. Save state. There we go. Whoop. Nope. <laughs> I think a lot of people can relate with Yoshi Yankee Gal because he's kind of a companion who's just there to help. And it's just like, oh look, he's here to help. He eats enemies for me. He's a cool dude. And you feel so bad, so bad when you dump him off in the pit. <laughs> you should feel bad. He just wants to help. Here we go. Red treasure hunt. Well, two stars left. Red treasure hunt could either refer to red coins or there's actually legitimately red treasure in the course. Hmm. So let's go back for a dive. I, I saw two places we could enter. We've entered the left, we've entered the right. And Again. Yeah, I remember there. You go around the corner, there's a star, and there's this here. Um, hmm. I'm starting to think this what did mean the red coin star, actually. The more I'm thinking about it. It's over here, that's a normal star. Pretty confident I've swam everywhere I can in this course so far. But Yoshi color would describe a personality. Now there's an actual question. Where then that pretty much just goes right into the debate of colors and personalities and let me just give you the answer yellow is insane there you go the end <laughs> yellow makes you insane okay so we'll be oh I, I think there's a red switch here okay okay I get it so uh, everyone hold on tight because we can't get that star we're gonna fish off some red coins and 100 coins 
let's uh, let's go diving because I want to get the coins and red coins underwater first. Let's take care of these guys first. It's quite possible that the red treasure is just the red coins. Or that, yes. And now I have a goal. I have an objective. I have something that I will complete. Ah! I run right into the wall. Alright. Oh, I must have already collected that right coin earlier. Yes, okay. So let's go to the other path. The great deep dive. Have to actually collect these coins. I missed one. I guess I'll pick it up on the way back. Okay, wasn't there a line of coins on the ground somewhere here? Yes, and I want your red coin. Definitely, definitely. It was near the star. Oh, here's those line of coins I was thinking about. There we go. Let's get out of here. So there would be a coin up here. My power meter's... oh no, it's not on the way. There it is. There we go. Okay. So we're not so cold pressed for air as I thought we would be. But that might have been because we're collecting coins, Miles Luigi. <laughs> that helps a lot. So yeah, let's get the rest of these over here. And the other pile over here. And I think just the clamshell red coin is the last one. Oh, actually, these three or four red coins because I take damage. Did I take your coin yet? No, I help oh, that you have a shell, never mind. I will take this shell for a ride for 10 seconds. I don't know if a massive water level is a good idea, this engine. I guess it's okay. It can work. Okay, I am missing more of those, uh, that pile of coins I left behind. I'm just gonna surface for air then. Go back down, try to find them one more time. If I can't find them, then whatever. Uh, Lost uh, in the murky depths. <laughs> Crystal clear, actually. Just bad draw distance. So yeah, Super Mario Star Road, they had that underwater level with the uh, ships and everything, but it like gave you bubbles along the way. I think that worked really, really well. Just reskinned hearts, right? Pretty much. But they let you explore underwater, but felt at least a little bit more freely. And that's really appreciated where all this level is called an abyss. Like, you look at it from distance, like, oh my god, the water is really deep. Look at how deep it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, Mario is a pro swimmer. Alright, where do I want to go next? How about the annoying cave? We'll call it that, yes. I think the game even calls it that. Oh, that worked. There's a couple more coins that way. But before I try getting those, I'm pretty confident I left some behind over here. Is there a red coin? Oh, I got that one already. Okay. Yeah. 
There was a ring on the surface, if you haven't gotten that yet. Oh no, no I haven't. That actually will really help because I'm currently at 80. This level feels like Jolly Roger Bay in that it feels like I'm going to be cutting it close for 100 coins. Yeah. There's the blue switch as well. Oh yeah, the blue switch will definitely cover it now, so I might as well just go get it. And I think that's where our last red coin is anyway. Uh, that's over here. Paradise you know, Box was always a little more annoying, at least before I knew the game that well, because there was one really well hidden line of coins in the first area that you had to kind of swim around the uh, top of the water to find, and then there was the set of five that was right near the uh, the opening that was left after the sh the sub went away that would suck you right out of the course. <laughs> so before I knew about the one line, it's like, okay, so I have to get most of these coins in the other line. And risk just leaving the course entirely. <laughs> yeah. That Jolly Roger Bays were pretty uh, straightforward. Unless you missed a blue coin, then you literally couldn't do it. That would be bad. Anyway, we have made it to 18 stars. I think that's uh, the most we can get without getting any of the switch pal or switch palaces, so switch caps. So let's uh, let's test out this uh, exit course. Exit course brings us right here. Welcome to a new world. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. So if we want to, we could try daring this uh, metal cap thing. I'm gonna call it thing just because of how ridiculous that camera was earlier. Well, I guess you yeah. are supposed to use the other one. Memory serves. Like There's actually four. three or four different stars in there. Yeah. Oh, holy cow. Okay. All right. Most of the secret areas here have like a lot of stars. Are there 45 secret stars? Technically, the 450 then? Yeah, 45. Wait, I'm in Mario uh, Cam. That's no, no, you don't want to explode. <laughs> I, I, I was in Mario Cam. Just instinct. Anyway, uh, having a metal cap would really, really help because now, now I'm dying. I am dying. And I've picked up coins, and wow, this coin meter is actually going down really fast. Oh, I picked up a star. I pulled down a hole, and I got a star. Yay! <laughs> I got a bonus star. You got it. Yes, by me. I. Did not intend but to the one with the coin in it, how about that? The coin did not lie. I, I think I should probably get the metal cap star before I start trying to get the red coins, is what I learned from that experience. <laughs> so I yes, need to you. figure out where I need to go to do that. Here, pull the bat. I don't see where else to go. Shoot, so it's not that. Okay. Yes, Mario. It really, really sucks in here. And I can't figure out where to go. I think you have to go up into the middle area and then, like. I don't know. There it is, right there. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, I will press the switch and that will I will die. <laughs> I have activated <laughs> the metal cap! Yes, I would like to save. And... dead. <coughs> Take that, death. <laughs> yes, I will. Because at least I can get a metal cap and that'll keep Mario alive longer. It's like a radiation shielding suit, but it's metal. Alright, let's go at it. So red coins is the other thing that we can get here, so let's try to get those. Also, back into cam. Oh, my god. Ah. Okay, thank goodness I didn't die. Probably get another metal cap. There's one right here, just 
city for me though. So yeah, yeah, this is the one hole that literally just has one point over it. That is a kind of funny. The one hole you want to fall down into. Uh, no, Mario. Okay, I need to get another metal cap. There is definitely, like, get metal cap right away. There's not too many coins. I've already gotten a fair number of them, so... I should probably just camp at the metal point switch if I don't make this. Oh, no. This is toughy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow. If you do approach at full speed like that again, uh, if you triple jump and then hold back after wall kicking, you might still be able to grab it. Oh. Nope, that was not it. That was not it. I don't know if that's the intended way of getting this, though. <laughs> Yeah, the dive doesn't help. <laughs> Someone's theorizing about having Chuckya toss me up here. I don't think Chuckya will toss me this high. This is tough. Mario, don't die. Don't die. There is a way to get the wall after a wall. Wow, uh, what am I trying to say? To hang on the wall after a wall jump, like wall kick jump, like that, but it's inconsistent. I'm gonna try just going off this pillar because it feels like it'll be easier if I can line it up. Well, I need to get the right angle off the pillar. At least I can bounce off the pillar. That's 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 good, but I need the angle. Oh. I think they deliberately made a vertex of that face. <laughs> face the platform. Can you get on that flat, that uh, little pillar from the the main like uh oh the main pillar? Maybe. Let me let me get another cap and then try that. Yankee Gal, I'm not resorting to Moon Jump now. Yeah, That'll this, come in course The 15. game might be hard, but it does not need cheats. Okay, Almost you can definitely game. make it to that pillar, though I definitely overshot it with that long jump, and I guess you could probably make it, looking at it. So. The question is, could I make it to the pillar from, say, this platform, where it's way, way, way easier? Oh. I'm just gonna load state after that. <laughs> that was pretty pristine triple jump there too, holy cow. Oh, can I make it from this platform? I might be able to make it from this platform. I'm gonna try that. Ah yeah, Chuck, yeah, you're still here, aren't you? I don't know, that is that is too far. Oh yeah, this one this is really, really, really tricky. This one here. Okay. So if I time my long jump, say here, aha, aha, yes, I did it. Now go get another metal cap, Mario, before you die. There. Okay, so I know where one more red coin is. Where the rest are. So there's that. 
That's six. Uh, seven. Seventh must be up here. I wonder if I have enough time to go get it. No, I probably shouldn't go get it. I should probably get another metal cap. Ow. That's not... No. Not what I needed. I need to be very, very conservative here. In regards to energy. Alright. Yeah, that, that one over there, you're gonna have to do a perfect jump somehow. I forget if it's a triple jump or two long jumps. I think it's a, think it's a triple jump here, because I looked like I would have made it with a triple jump, so... Just the, the camera is, makes it even harder. Oh yeah, it does. You get extra height with a dive? Or extra distance? Oh, yeah, so that's that, that, that technique too. Nah, maybe not. That's an odd angle. I think you need the momentum though to keep. Yeah, if you dive you know, at the apex, you probably can get it. Oh, I should have had that. Holy cow. Oh, and then it's like I need to do another type of jump there. Holy cow. <laughs> As if one was not enough. <sighs> okay, that is way too early on my jumping. Okay, at least I have a good idea on what I'm doing. This execution here, that's the key. Long jump. Long jump is enough. Okay. There is a, there's a star up here, actually. No. Okay. Yep. Okay, Mario, get the star before you die. Thank you. Okay, where's our last two red coins, then? We're gonna have to enter this again. Okay, two extra secret stars. Bonus stars. Holy cow. So we've gone in there once to uh, get the metal cap and then choke to death. And then we went in there again for one of the bonus stars, which I actually think we got first. And then we got that star. Okay. Well, that that makes me feel better than just stuffing a red coin there. I still need to find two more red coins. Where are they? Let's go. Uh, let's go search. I wonder if they're actually in the holes, and I have to wall jump in with them. So I haven't really fully explored the holes yet. Yeah, they said they aren't. Okay. I will take your word, JD. Here. Health bar is pretty nice too. Mario, quit for jumping this. Thank you. Uh, what exactly are we doing here, Vixly Pixel? Well, I, I suppose I never explicitly said it, but this is Super Mario 74. My goal is to eventually get all 150 stars, so it makes sense for me to just complete areas. Um, so, th this area apparently has a lot of bonus stars, so I'm trying to get them. Let's get our sixth coin here, the one that was really difficult to get. And then we gotta find two coins and figure out where they are. I almost thought for a second that Goomba was a coin. <laughs> Goomba is not a coin. There's a going coin in Goomba, though. Not a red coin. Yep, that, that long jump is almost certainly like the best bet, unless you're good at doing other types of jumps. There we go. Alright, camera, let's not kill me. Alright, there we go. So, two more coins. Where could they be? Yeah, if I definitely didn't have UJD here, I'd be just falling down these holes. I'd be like, get down here. <laughs> not down there. Is this death? Is this coin? <laughs> is this death? The camera won't even give me the honor of seeing what's inside the coin. Wow. Or, in, in, I'm messing my words. Inside the hole. So, coins. Let, let's look around. Like to spin around. Spin around. 
Oh my gosh. There's a coin if there. If you're what's sitting around, switch to the Mario game. Never mind oh. that you could directly overhead. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do that. It's not gonna work. Have I ever had stuff Goomba? Well, that sounds like a delicious meal. Why don't you go get me a Goomba? Hunt the Goomba, go kill it. I'll cook stuff Goomba. Or maybe I can talk Evil Pop during the cooking, because he did mention in a previous stream that he really likes to cook, and to be fair, he makes a really, really, really good chili. So. Ah! Right over, so long jump might not be my best bet. Double jump's probably good. Get it going. Oh, double jump didn't quite make it. Okay. Yeah, no, double jump doesn't make it. Huh. Frame perfect second long jump? No. <laughs> Getting the angle on this can be difficult. It might be easier on the overhead Mario camera. I can't, I'm basically jumping blind here and hoping that I land onto the platform. Thankfully, yeah, I don't recall any other course having this kind of issue. Well, it's been, has it been a task of this game? Hmm. Yeah, that's right, they did just do a 151 DS of this recently, didn't they? Oh, gosh. In, uh, less than 150. Yeah, one hour fifty minutes. So um, they already beat the game by the time we record count one hundred thirty-nine thousand one hundred forty-nine. <laughs> so uh, just a little yeah. bit more than I did for my walkthrough then. Intrinsically, it doesn't look like a difficult jump. Practice, it totally is. Going to Mario Cam was not a good idea. Even though I Slow. thought it was a good idea. You are very uncooperative. Oh gosh, I made it. I don't care if my metal cap is almost gone. I, I kind of need a save state because of how difficult that was. Aha! There's seven. Okay, let's go get another metal cap. Right away, right away. We're choking to death. It, it hurts. It hurts. Okay, the last coin. Last coin. There's a lot of pillars, so there's still good places for this thing to be. But wait, where is it? I like back. the face plant to uh, avoid fall damage there. Up on this platform, look around. Oh, I haven't really explored that area too much. I'm going to have to explore that area more. Near the start. Okay, this TAS kind of switches around between levels because of walking in the overworld. Kind of hard to follow then, isn't it? Yeah, I just want to check. I think there's. I see one star you haven't gone yet here. Yeah, I think that's the only other one. I have a feeling it is. Given that we've seen a good ch chunk of the rest of the level. There we go. So that is uh, three stars so far. How many more are there? That's the only thing I don't like. This bonus area, I don't know how many stars there are actually in here. It looks like there might be five. Five, okay. Are there five? Well... There's that one area which I never noticed till now where that last red coin was. I want to explore that at least. This original walk for goes from zero to five in this area. Gosh, okay. Please, an area practically is its own course. Yeah. So yeah, this uh, this area is definitely very obscured by the camera. <laughs> really obscured, holy cow. Wow. Yeah, there were five. Thank goodness, wall gets get searching. Two more. Yeah. 
Wow, there's purposely a gap in the wall to make wall kicks not work as effectively. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, that's totally doable, too. Okay. Yeah! Well, this would be four. Um, before I click the star, though, is there, like, anything else up here of note? The camera doesn't help. Okay, let's go get that star before I die. That's a second star in a box right next to it. Oh! Well, I already know what I'm doing next time. That, that's not, but no. <laughs> oh. I took you so seriously, J.D. Aster. It's like Tall Tall Mountain from the original game. <laughs> Climb the mountain. Second star. Climb the mountain. Let's go do it. So, let's head back to that area, though, because it does seem suspic suspicious, if I can say the word. Suspicious. I can add this pillar, and then you have like, the things you can all jump up. Go back up here. I made it first try, too. Yeah! Look at that. I like actually did... I actually did see the star, uh, the last star, earlier, but I thought it was the first one that you got. Oh gosh, is it on top of that pillar over there? That one over there? No, I thought it was the one that you you found in the hole. Oh. And Mario died. I know which one it is. Why did I switch to Mario Cam? It's unsurprising that uh, you didn't find it, given how you've been forced to navigate this course thus far. Having to go back and get metal caps all the time, it's uh, pretty difficult. Someone in chat oh. says behind the pillar. Oh, I just found it. Uh, the camera just kind of clipped and showed me. Yeah, that's what. That's how I saw it earlier. I thought I was seeing it under the stage. All right, all okay. done. Okay. Well, let's go uh, get that metal cap star in the aqua stage, and then uh, we'll go take on Bowser first time, and I think we'll call it a stream. I thought Bowser was the 30 star door. Or is Bowser? Okay. Never mind. I know you said three courses, and I'm like, three courses, and I have enough stars that I should be able to open I think something. it's 20. Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. There was the 10 and the 30 star. I forget which was which. Hmm. One is course five. So, what are we gonna do here with you, Metal Cap? Uh, continue to go down, and down, and down. That must have done something. I hope I'm going the right way. I am sinking. I am sinking. I cannot see the bottom of the sea. I am going to go back into swimming mode before I can see the bottom of the sea. Okay. That was probably not the answer. No. Let's go back up. <laughs> it's so big, it's useless. Oh. No going down on a current that you can't swim past. Nope. Um, maybe, maybe the idea here is we have to actually go backwards. Maybe that's the idea. So let's hit the switch and uh, try to see what did what do you do. Okay, I can walk back up, so at least I can do that. Wow. Oh, I see something. I see something. There's something over here, and they're disappearing. They're gone. <laughs> I see, I see! Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's just a glimmer. So I definitely have to save state there. This game loves its box puzzles. I see. I see, yes. This one's not as bad as I remember it being. I just have to not fail. There we go. So 
so I'm gonna assume this block is the star, or wait, there's two blocks. <gasps> Gasp, there's two blocks. Okay, let's hit block number one. There's a whole bunch of coins. Well, that could have helped us when we were trying to get 100 coins earlier. But we couldn't have gotten it anyway. And our star. So let's see here. One door we can enter at ten. Is that you? Ten stars are required to enter this door. Is this a boss area? Or is this just another course? It is. Welcome to New World, a boss area. Doesn't seem boss area. Please excuse that Mario will always do his "I got a key" animation when beating this level, even when you get a star. Oh. I guess so it's what is the boss level then? It is quote unquote boss level. Is what I'll put it. Yeah, yeah even ones. even the boss levels have like a lot of secret stars in this. I want to say this one has at least three still. Yeah, noted. It feels like a gloomy, dark, uh, mountainous bomb battlefield. And by the way, these things, they they look like sand pits or lava pits, and I should not be able to run in them, but I totally can. Oh, Mario 64, how you have conditioned me so. That looks bad. I shouldn't run in it. Oh gosh, this, this almost feels like a testing area. Actually, with rail like that. Oh, this is a bullet bill launcher that I'm on top of. You like never see these things in Mario 64, like, ever. Well, except once. In Wom's Fortress. In game, so you can use it. Actually, oh, and, uh, better be careful. So, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to climb something to actually get somewhere instead of just running along the ground. Oh, hi, Bill Bill. <laughs> There's something inside of this building. How do I get to it? Ah, oh, that's just very cool. How about the other side? Friendly sign, tell me what to do. Find a triple jump with a wall jump. When doing the wall jump, hold the control stick towards the wall. Oh gosh, I need to do it now. The game's gonna force me, isn't it? Alright. Kids, hold on to you, whatever you're closest to right now. If you have to hold on to something, what would you have to hold on to? Options. There, there's nothing for you two to hold on to. <laughs> I think you might be winding up just a tad too far on this. Too far away from the wall, you're saying, when I start the triple jump? Yeah, I don't recall off the top of my head whether it's better to start up close or far away. It seems like it might be better to start close. I get it. I got it. And I 
I gotta do it again, but I did it the second time flawlessly. Talk to you, Pink the Bomb. I get the cannon. Cannons lead to a lot of opportunities. What can we use this cannon for? It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's a Should huge show. building here. I don't think I can make it that far. I think the camera cannon will shoot me that far. Huh. What? I don't think it will, but I guess I'll try. Oh, maybe it will. Maybe it will. As Mario goes to fall off the course because I have poor aim. Let's try that again. Let's try that. Too low. Too low. Well, it's course is smaller than it looks. It really looks like it's really far away from that cannon. Oh, I just flew right through that crevice. <laughs> I need to actually hit something. Look, if you hit the ceiling, you'll probably bounce out. There's a wall, I think. I might be able to just barely clip. Here we go. And if I do that and do that, tell you what, I'm gonna save state here and see if this ends up working as planned. I'm sure there's even anything in there. I, I see a one up. I might be able to actually get somewhere from there. Also, I just came too much. Okay. Oh, I still clipped the wall just slightly, so I need to go slightly to the left. Slightly. There we go. And... Oh, that's too high. Okay. Slightly. No, not that far down. This control stick can be too sensitive at times. I think that's too far, too far, too far. Wow, it's just like playing on the N64. Too far, too far, too far, too far. Okay, well there is a one-up mushroom in there. Where else can we blast though, is the question. Because that's way too difficult to get into there. Can I make it on top of here? I can do this. No, I can. That was simpler than I thought it was. I should have not been messing around. Seven. All right. One more will do it. Well, let me guess. You gotta climb some boxes. Boxes. And I might as well call this Super Mario 64 boxes. <laughs> boxes, wing caps, and wall kicks. There's a large staircase here, holy cow. <laughs> this is gonna be a bit more difficult than I thought. And I wonder if our last red coin is actually up here or not. We'll find out. Okay, let's do this, Mario. Nope, I did not do it. Well, before trying this really more, because this does actually legitimately look difficult, I am going to uh, just, okay, no red coins. Let's do this. Spy a star over there. You spy correctly. That is not what we were trying to do tonight, though. Unless there's a red coin over there. I kind of want to get this red coin thing because I've been collecting red coins. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, just finish that off at least. It's a thing you do in '64. Okay, so that leads to a pipe. Is there a red coin up here? That's probably the end of the... That's probably the Bowser. That's what I'm thinking, but still. 
I must explore, and this this is not that difficult, Miles Luigi. Holy cow. Spacing of those last couple boxes is inconsistent. No, there's no red coin up here, but it, I should be able to jump to wherever the red coin is. The problem is, draw distance. Uh, it shows. Red coins never disappear. Oh, red coins don't disappear in draw distance? Oh, never mind then. Then we just so have it's to just look a matter around. of whether it's inside the building. Oh, it's not in the pipe, but uh, it may not be visible from this vantage point. Oh great! And I know I only have one left, so if it's not visible from this vantage point, uh, where could it be hiding? Huh? I'm gonna. Fall down here, take some damage, and uh, hop onto this dangerous looking thing here. This actually looks like it leads to a star eventually. <laughs> Seems that crawling is the best way to get through here. Go, Mario, go! I, I do know that speedrunners sometimes joke about Super Mario 64 Crawlathon. <laughs> Beat the game while crawling. So yeah, I'm almost entirely certain that will just eventually get us to a star, so... This gets us a different vantage point, though, which is what I wanted. Ah, there's a star there. Star, I want the red, I want red coin. I'm happy that I'm finding stars, but I want red coin. Red coin. Nice if you can just collect all of them, but I guess... They'll buoy out of the level. Yes, and then I have to collect red coins again. That's exactly it. That's why you get the 100 coin star before you get the 8 coin star. Also, I made that look really easy. What about this vantage point? I presume you looked behind that big uh, building on the uh, in the corner of the course. Where I started. Let's take a look. If I were a red coin, where would I hide? That's an excellent question for the ages. If I were a red coin, where would I hide? I'm pretty confident there was one back here, and I got it already. If I actually, like, I know I started inside of this thing, but did I actually explore inside of this thing? No, I didn't. It's big, it's empty, it looks spooky, I don't like it. Let me see. One behind the pink ba bomb building. Pink ba I think I. Oh, I found it! I found it! I found it! It's just this stupid little crevice in the castle. Just kind of mind its own business. Like, yeah, I'm a star. I'm a star. What about it? <laughs> we did it! And now we know where a whole bunch of other stars are. So we're gonna go off and get to business and get all of those. Badlands. Yeah, there, there's yeah. three more stars here. And I think you've seen. Well, you've seen, seen two. At least two. And you. Uh, he knows where they are. Huh? Yeah. So, which do we want to do first? Do we want to do the Daredevil of Death, the Castle Side Star, or the How the Heck Do I Get on Top of This Thing Star? There's actually three. Uh, where's my. There you are. Thank you, Gal. It, it was the last place I looked. Yeah, that's what all this is. Alright, so. 
we're gonna get the Daredevil of Death one because I know you guys really want to see them crawl strats. Crawl, Mario, crawl. I'd rather see the wall kick strats. Just wall kick up those wiry little things. You know, if you do that, you don't need the cannon in this course. Holy well, cow. That would be impressive. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's possible with those overhangs. Probably is. I'm kind of curious. I, I know, uh, like, the big... Oh, I fell and... Yeah. I, I know the big Mario 64 Sig speedrunner is Siglemic. I'm curious if he's ever done uh, the ROM hacks, like Star Road or this. I was under the impression he still still hold, held the whip. Huh. He still held the world record, but apparently he's been beaten by a few minutes. Hmm. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, let me look up the time again, but uh... His last was like just under 144. But currently... It's held by... Someone, yeah, 141 and 12. Wow. I didn't think Mario 64 100 star, or 120 stars could get, uh, where am I going? That much quicker, <laughs> given that route, but holy cow, look at it go. Alright, so, now let's, uh, let's look for the one that's just hanging outside the castle just by a little bit. And then we gotta figure out that one fat to get on top of the chapel. My, there it is. Either of you guys kept up with the uh, A button challenge stuff that uh, is done for Super Mario 64? A button challenge. Oh, oh, I think I know what you mean. Beating levels with as few A presses as possible, is that right? Yeah, I think they've TAS'd, or at least, like, theoretically TAS'd 70 star down to a single A button press. Wow. And 120 stars is like 40 or so. <laughs> a lot more to get all the stars. One single A button press. That, that, that is the pole in Bowser in the Fire Sea. So There's if you no way to get off the pole without hitting A. Oh, uh, the attack buttons don't work to get off the pole, no. And the only other way to get off the pole is just slide down it. Or drop, but with Z, I think. But uh, you wouldn't be able to get the requisite height. Alright, so I, I think I actually should be able to just shoot on top of the chapel. It might be a tricky shot, though, I don't think. Can I make this? This cannon's proving me wrong already. I overshot it by quite a bit. Holy cow. Okay, I need to give myself more height on this shot so that I don't travel as far. And back down I go. I landed on top of the star. What if you could shoot yourself into the star from the lower angle? Or if the building would be in the way? Well, let's go fight whatever Bowser ends up being. And then we'll call it a stream. I gotta make it up the boxes again, though. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A button challenge. One A button press. So that means, like, final that final Bowser area, no A button presses, because the fiery sea is not the final one. Nope. Just, like, 40 cloned Goombas or something absurd. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this I need to see. Please tell me it's uploaded somewhere. Yeah, uh, Padden Koic, uh, 2012. Just link it yeah. in chat. Yeah, yeah. I will definitely watch that shortly after we're done here. Also, I made that first try. Holy cow. Holy cow. What the fudge. Also, Higsby has come online, and even though we're almost done, guess what? He's being added, so you guys can say hi to Higsby shortly here. Huzzah. Bowser, you haven't changed. This 
spike balls are high. Oh, I need to throw you with ferocious force. I need to see where the stupid spike ball is to throw you into the spike ball. Yeah, he did blow everything on 2D castles. Remember Star Road? <laughs> Actually, that was just retro. It wasn't 2D. Okay, I was kind of really far away from that anyway. So... You can rotate the camera while you're swinging, I think. Yes. The thing is, those spikes are so far it's, high it's up. There's one spike and that's the ultra. That's one way to mod this, I guess. Hey, this is one of the one of the few courses you can use Lakitu cam on, and it works. So yeah, the this higher sorry, the higher spike ball makes this quite a bit harder. Go on. This was fun to do without a an analog stick. Yeah, I'm in analog stick mode right now. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Like, it was hard enough doing the cannon shots with, like, no dead zone. It's just, like, full on or nothing. But, like, anything that r involves rotating the control stick, it's just like, okay, set emulator speed to 20%. <laughs> and then just press the buttons in rhythm for five times the amount of time I should. <laughs> oh, that was totally the right angle, but it didn't get the heights. And I didn't. Ooh. That was good, but death perception, I guess. I, I didn't know Bowser can ki kill you by just jumping on the ground, but I guess he can. Okay. I learned something I today. I just joined, but this boss battle is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good, e good evening, Higsby. Um, we're, Hello. We're, we're, we're fighting Bowser, but all the spike balls are up really high, so they're, like, nearly impossible to hit. That is new. I, ne I have never seen him kill like that. I guess I didn't. I don't recall having ever missed a mine in the first Bowser fight. <laughs> Isn't there only one mine? I'm looking around. Oh, the Mario Cam helps here, though it oh, uh, is one. really disorientating too. Holy cow! <laughs> I can see the mine, but on the other hand, <laughs> oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> Uh, no, that's, that's not gonna work. No, it's not. Okay. Looks like you're zipping around at like ten times the speed you're actually turning him at. Uh, uh, there! Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, okay. I was too close to the center of the battlefield. Okay. So, no, I didn't get it. Well, Higsby, as I mentioned, I am gonna be done soon, so what's up? Not much, yeah, I just got home from work not too long ago, <laughs> which is why I'm not a part of uh, your Bowser's Inside Story Let's Play right now. This is kind of, you know, when I have available time to do things, so it's unfortunate that you're going to be done soon, but at least I could grab the tail end of it, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The life of working afternoon shift. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, darn it, once again, wrong button. And did that get anywhere? No, it didn't. I, I, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna start safe so you can get through here. Oh, I got, I got it, I got it. Bowser blew up. Yes. He blew up. This ROM hack is the king of uh, making uh, making these boss battles ridiculously hard by changing the smallest things. <laughs> 28 stars. Uh, I, I'll let you read this. The, this. Why did I... Stupid explosive. Now I have to give Mario this really expensive looking key. <laughs> what were you going to say, Higsby? 
Is, is it the key to Mario's house? No, wait, Dr. Wily has that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I was gonna say, uh, JD Aster was talking about uh, changing boss battles. You have 28 stars. What other bosses have you fought so far? Uh, Bowser is the first one, actually. We made it through three courses. Um, this course here, um, why don't I go ahead and show this off here instead of just cutting it off here? Called Dice Fortress. Can I even get any of these other two stars? Because I need Wing Cap for them. But I don't think Wing Cap's still the third main area. Oh so my gosh. You got wait, ways to wait for that. I have to ignore this area for a really long time, you're saying. So there was this area, and then the second area was, um, uh, that was, what was the second area? Oh yeah, the second area was the pipe, right? Pipe. And the second area was basically checkerboard world, as I like to call it. Some crazy jumps too. Skyward slopes, I got all the stars though. So they look huge checkerboard land. I actually have a good kind of vantage of the whole level from here, actually. Our, our third level was basically Jolly Roger Bay, but it's a prom hack. <laughs> I'll go ahead and show that off. And then this we took cool. on Bowser. Cool. And that was all tonight? That was all tonight, yeah. yes. It looks like the wind cap's in the second area, and you can get it now. Don't, you... don't forget bad camera, um, uh, toxic green oh, place. Yes, bad camera. I, I need to show you bad camera, toxic green place. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, Rom Heck, Jolly Roger Bay. And I need to. I I can't exit course while I'm swimming. I guess. So I also love how you can miss the paintings if you jump in at the wrong angle. Yeah, really. <laughs> Must have put it on a screen boundary. Alright, so if, if we go up into this cave, Higsby, let's go over to here. Mm -hmm. I hope the stream delay isn't too much. Alright, so this is extremely toxic cave. You start metal, but the whole area is like Hazy Maze Cave's toxic area. Just the whole area. Did Hazy Maze Cave drain that fast, though? Yes. Yeah. You don't usually spend too much time in it. I know that there's like certain sections where you can go and that it drains even right. faster. So I'm guessing that's probably what they used all over the place here then? Yeah, I guess it's also that your head isn't always in the, uh, the hay. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, but yeah. <laughs> there, there's a hidden, <laughs> hidden star in this hole. Is it just an arbitrary hole? Yes. Yeah, the, 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 there is a bit of star coin. padding in this game, so that you'll get stars in random holes. So, we, we had uh, a lot of trouble on that area. And then last but not least, Bowser's wow. area. Um, so I far, you missed the star there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say, so far, I do like the ROM hack for what it is. Cruddy camera angle is kind of ruining some bits for it for me, but I do like it enough that I will say it will continue, and I do want to make it to 150 stars. Um, God help me when I start getting the late game stuff, because I've seen some of the late game stuff. Like, already see a JD Aster, and holy cow. But, uh, uh, Star Road was definitely a bit more polished than this one. Hmm. This one came before Star Road, though, correct? Yeah, I want to say a good year or so, at least. So I guess if we were to make a comparison to Super Mario World ROM hacks, this ROM hack would be the equivalent to... That's a good question. Wouldn't call it Super Demo World. Summer 2011. I thought it was, uh... I must have played it sooner after I came out than I thought. Because I think that's when I played it. Yeah, it's an earlier Super Mario 64 ROM hack that did a really good job showing what was possible. Demo World is a decent comparison, I would say, though. I don't think this was made by the person who made Toad's Tool, was it? No. 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 So, the comparison isn't one-to-one. -one. I don't think we can make a one-to-one -one comparison. But I've been enjoying it so far. Gosh, uh, who made Toad's Tool? Uh, VL Tone. It's a... <laughs> yeah, that's right. You don't really hear from him anymore. Is he even updating it anymore? I don't think he is. I don't think so. Uh, 2008 was the last time it was updated. Wow. Well, the tool works, the tool works. I'm pretty confident Lunar Magic could have, like, not updated since 2002 and people would still use it. 
Um, I don't- I'm trying to think back to exactly when things like extra graphics came in. So, might not be as good, but I mean, you would still have some so levels easy. out there that were pretty good. I don't even remember when, uh, overworld editing came in, actually. There's probably a, a change lot. All of that was around when I first found Lunar, Lunar Magic. I guess it would have been in 06. 05, 06? I was 04, 05, and it was there too. But like, some of those ancient ROM hacks that Miles Luigi's playing, I think those are like, what, 2002? 2002? Mm -hmm. 2002, yeah. 2002 so. <laughs> 2003. Digital demo world. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, um, this has been the first Super Mario 74. Next week, here's what's going to be the options. Once again, I'm going to talk to Evil Pop Dirt, see if he's available. If he is, it's definitely going to be Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, Mario Alone, Chapter 5. If he is not available, we have a couple of options. I might actually throw up a straw poll, because you know, I originally put up a straw poll, what should I stream? Um, you know, we could do this again. Do Fire Emblem, we could do Shantae, those are options. Um, Maybe we could do something else. We'll uh, we'll figure it out when time comes, though. We could do Lucas in Smash. <laughs> Lucas in Smash. We could do a little bit of Smash Brothers too. We don't necessarily have to just do one game for the night. So, if you want to do a couple of battles, JD Aster, and you have Lucas, sure. We could I do that. I will become a master in those two days. <laughs> Okay, but uh, now it's time for closing thoughts. So this has been Miles Luigi. Um, Cisco exam suck. Why Yoshi? I don't know what I mean to say really this time. Sorry. Did Easter? This has been me. <laughs> this has been Higby. 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 You've been on. That you're on Miles Luigi's channel. Pain. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy being on his channel for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you again soon, hopefully. Hmm. See you all later.